Good morning everybody, it's Abel Khair and welcome here to Algiers, the capital of Algeria, the largest country here in beautiful Africa. Alhamdulillah I'm here and finally I'm exploring this beautiful capital city. I just spent the last few days in the south in the desert which was incredible, you can check the last video. But today we're going to be exploring this beautiful capital city and I cannot wait. Yellow. So I've just arrived here to the Botanical Gardens by Metro. The Metro here in Algeria is very, very easy to use. So if you're a tourist coming here, highly recommend taking that. It's also very cheap and super clean. And I'm actually just about to take the teleferric all the way up to the monument. It's a beautiful day. The sun is finally out. Take a look at this beautiful Algiers. There's a dog up here. Let's go. After taking the teleferric all the way up the mountain to the beautiful forest, the air up here is so clean. It feels like a beautiful spring day. I just made it here to the Martyrs Monument. This was built in 1982, 20 years after the year of independence. And it's actually architecturally built like three standing palm leaves, which protect the eternal flame underneath, which I'll go and show you in just a second. When the Ottomans weakened back in 1830, the French moved in and it was 132 years later the Algerians finally had their independence back in 1962. Let's take a look. Directly under the monument just up here, you have the botanical gardens as you walk through. Stunning, stunning. It's a fountain show just here. Okay, this tree behind me, perhaps one of the world's most famous trees, and I'll tell you why. So the film Tarzan back in actually 1932, so we're talking over 90 years ago. This was the set of the movie. Huge, beautiful tree currently here in the botanical gardens. So peaceful here. So when the French were actually here, they used to test plants inside of this botanical garden and send them all the way back to Versailles. Honestly, Algerians who live in Algiers are so lucky to have this. It's just incredible. You can see the monument behind me, the beautiful fountains. Wow. Welcome everybody to the Grand Mosque here in Algiers, the third largest mosque in the world, only after Makkah and Masjid al Nabawi in Medina. The largest mosque in the whole of Africa, and it's also home to the tallest minaret in the world. This beautiful mosque can fit over 120,000 people. I'm not allowed to use my camera, so I'm just on my phone. I hope that's okay. Let me give you a tour. see the huge minaret, as I said, the tallest in the world. The level of detailing is just sublime, subhanAllah. Wow, wow, wow. I can just imagine Jumma here, 
would be just phenomenal inshallah on Friday I can come back and pray Jummah inside wow wow I cannot believe the beauty what an honor to be here the third largest mosque in the world and the largest in Africa I've actually now visited, I think now the top eight mosques in the world, maybe the top seven, alhamdulillah. You can also see the beautiful Jamur architecture, this is an Islamic term for the gold dome architecture. So beautiful, subhanAllah. Okay, first thing I'm trying to eat here in Algiers is a traditional uh, food here called pizza curry and this is a really really popular street food dish here. I've got the spicy version. Very good, I ordered the spicy version but there's no spice in it. Maybe Algerians don't like spice. This is super famous here because number one is so cheap and it's really really fast here for Algerians who are always working. Oh, well, like that. But, like, but, yeah. I've just arrived here to the upper area of the Kasbah, the iconic and world-renowned area of the capital here in Algiers. Beautiful, stunning, winding alleys working its way up to a viewpoint like this. It's world-renowned and it actually became a UNESCO World Heritage Site back in 1992. I've just come up to a historic house here which has actually turned into a museum and the view from here is just remarkable. It's sunset now. Take a look at this. Wow. Sun is setting over here, there's an Algerian flag here. The monument just here. The Grand Mosque just here. This is the largest mosque in Africa and the tallest minaret. And it, this is the Keturah Mosque, which I just visited. You can pretty much see the level of detail, how high we are, all the winding alleys. It really reminds me of Istanbul. Cafes just down here, the winding streets. Wow. This window is great, right? Wow. What a view. This is the statue of Amir Abdul Qadir. If there's one area here in Algiers that is noticeable for the French influence, it's this area called La Rue, La Rue d'Isle. And I'm just going to show you around here. You can see all of these beautiful apartment buildings leading all the way down the streets the buildings and the streets are stunning the architecture wow the sunset is happening right now maghrib prayer will also be coming so i head to the mosque inshallah i mean come on 
This is insane. Welcome to the middle of the world. You see here, Europe, America, Africa, Asia. This is the middle point of the entire world. 